The question is evaluate the value of integration of the function x sin inverse of x with respect to x. Now to solve this question, first of all, we take the uh, given integral and the function given is the product of two functions, that is x sin inverse of x. Okay, so first of all, as usual, we will have to sort out which function we are going to assume as the first function and which uh, function as the second function. So, we cannot integrate sine inverse x directly. So, we are left with no option but to assume sine inverse x as first function and x as the second function. Okay, so writing this as sine inverse of x into x. So, the integral is written in such a manner that the sine inverse x is the first function and x is the second function applying the formula of integration by parts. I'm going to get this as sine inverse of x into integration of x minus differentiation of sine inverse x, integration of x and further the integration of the product which of the terms which are obtained in the bracket. Okay. Now, integration of x is x square upon 2. Differentiation of sine inverse x is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. And again, this will be x square upon 2. So, I'm going to have sine inverse of x, x square upon 2 minus integration of 1 upon under root of 1 minus x square into x square upon 2. Okay. Now, this is further there is nothing to be solved in this term so we have to just look for solu solving this term so what I do I arrange the terms properly and write it as 1 upon 2 sine inverse of 1 upon 2 x squared into sine inverse of x minus 1 upon 2 times integration of x square upon square root of 1 minus x square with respect to x now to integrate this term it is a bit difficult to integrate and so to solve it we are going to apply a little bit trick and the trick is I'm going to first of all take this minus sign and place it along minus x square sorry place it with this x square so I'm going to get the term like this 1 by 2 x square sine inverse of x plus 1 by 2 integration of minus x square upon square root of 1 minus x square dx. Okay, now next what I'm going to do, I'm going to add 1 and subtract 1 like this. So this term is would be taken as first one term and minus 1 as the second term and we are going to divide under root of 1 minus x squared separately with these two terms. So I'm going to obtain this as equal to 1 by 2 x square sine inverse x, 1 by 2 outside the bracket into integration of the these two terms that is 1 minus x square upon under root of 1 minus x square minus 1 upon under root of or square root of 1 minus x square okay so this can be cancelled to give me square root of 1 minus x square okay so I can write this as this uh, uh, so the functions or the term can be written as 1 by 2 x square sine inverse x plus 1 by 2 times integration of square root of 1 minus x square minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. You can see we are going to integrate this term. Okay. Now, we can integrate this directly by writing this as equal to sine inverse of x because integration of 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square is sine inverse x. And this, we know a formula that integration of a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 by 2 x square root of a square minus x square plus 1 by 2 a square sine inverse of x upon a plus c. So I'm going to apply this formula. And you can see that here we have to take a as equal to 1 because a square or 1 square means would be the same Meaning to say we can write 1 square and we can take 1 as equal to a. Okay, so 
applying the formula I'm going to get this as 1 by 2 times this term as it is 1 by 2 times 1 upon 2x under root of 1 minus x square you can see here you have to just place a square is equal to 1 because 1 square is will be again equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 1 square is 1 so no need of writing sine inverse of x minus sine inverse of x plus c so we have integrated now we are going to rearrange the term to get the answer so next what I'm what I've done this 1 by 2 sine inverse minus sine inverse gives me minus 1 by 2 sine inverse of x multiplying 1 by 2 that is opening the bracket I'm going to get 1 by 2 x square sine inverse x plus 1 by 4 x under root of 1 minus x square minus 1 upon 4 sine inverse of x plus c from these two terms I can take sine inverse x as common so I get sine inverse of x into 1 by 2 x square minus 1 by 4 plus 1 upon 4 x into square root of 1 minus x square so you can see these two terms from taking x square sine inverse x is common I get this I'm taking LCM I get the integration of sine inverse x as equal to sine inverse of x as to uh, uh, sine inverse of x into 2x square minus 1 upon 4 plus 1 by 4x into square root of 1 minus x square plus c which is my required answer thank you please support us by subscribing to our channel by liking this video and giving your comment for the video